Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be discussing ioniform packing. But first, if you could hit like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated as it does help my channel. So ioniform packing, it does come in a rabble resistant gauze packing um, container. Now, it is impregnated with iodoform, which is an antiseptic effective against pseudomonas. Um, so in the presence of exudate, the iodoform breaks down to release iodine, okay? So you should be, this should be used with caution, especially um, in thyroid diseases. So a patient should have their thyroid checked if this is be, being used for a prolonged period of time. So the packing color may be a little bit opaque, yellowish, um, and have an oily appearance um, because small amounts of oil may be used um, to help the product um, into the container. Um, and you, this should be packed dry. So you're not going to get this wet at all. You use this packing dry. We are going to use this product only under the direction of a physician, nurse practitioner, or wound care specialist. So it is a product that needs to be ordered by them. Um, and then we're going to use this on um, for, for a packing, okay? So it can be used in tunnels um, also. You just wanna make sure that you're only using one piece of the packing to go throughout the, the entire wound. Um, and then precautions, it does, um, it is an iodine base, so the iodoform, it does turn into iodine when it gets wet, so it can cause discomfort on, um, and pain on application. Um, you're not going to use this before or after radio iodine tests. Blood work should be monitored on a regular basis, especially for those with renal impairment or who are on lithium medications. Um, and then also th thyroid function is always monitored when it's a large area, um, a large wound. Contraindications. So we're not going to use this on patients who have a sensitivity or allergy to iodine. Um, we're not going to use this with patients who have Durings, dermatitis. It's a skin, uh, it's a rare skin disease. We're also not going to use this product with any other my antimicrobials. So just for in wound care in general, people seem to like, and, and, I've, and I've seen it quite frequent actually, more products the better, but it's not true. So what we want to do is we want to use one antimicrobial and we want to obtain that moisture balance with that one antimicrobial instead of using multiple products. So find a product that has everything you're looking for. So you need to look at your moisture balance and what products you're going to use um, instead of using multiple products, even if it's a two silver products. We don't wanna be doing that. We want to have one product that's doing everything we want. It's more cost effective also. Um, so we're not going to use this for prolonged periods of times with um, patients that have thyroid disorders or um, are on lithium therapy. Um, we're not going to use this under an occlusive dressing, so we want to make sure that it is breathable. Um, it's not to be used on pregnant or breastfeeding women or uh, neonatals. Um, so they're under 1.5 kilograms, we can't be using this on them. And just like we start with every wound, we're going to clean the wound and the peri wound with normal saline, um, and then just dry the, the peri wound. This is for a single use patient, so make sure they have their name on it, on the bottle. Um, and then you're going to choose the appropriate packing width. Okay, so it does come in different widths and you wanna make sure that it packs easy, but it, it does fill up that space appropriately. Um, and then we're going to cut the length that you need to fill um, the tunnels, everything. You only want to use one 
piece. So make sure you pull out enough to fill up the packing, um, the actual wound packing and any sinuses undermining um, whatever you have to fill. Um, and make sure that we're on this packing dry. Um, we're not getting it wet at all. The exudate will get it wet and then the iodine will go into the tissue. So we don't want to be getting it wet. Um, and then just make sure you have a tail outside of the wound um, and you can tape the the tail to the peri wound um, if necessary. If not, normally it's just fine sitting there and then you cover it with your appropriate cover dressing, making sure that it's not an occlusive dressing and it is breathable. So to remove, you're going to just remove the cover dressing and locate the tail that's there, uh, and then just gently remove it, pull it out. Um, so normally this is changed daily, go off the order um, because this is something that is used under the direction of a physician, nurse practitioner, or wound care specialist, so you will have orders for this. Um, your expected outcome is that the wound infection is resolved within two weeks. And then I also did include here all of our different sizes. Okay, so it does come in five yards and then it's just your different size uh, width um, to fit into, into the wound. So that is all I have for today's video and I hope to see you in my next one.